What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now before this Vegas Pro 20 walkthrough starts, I want to quickly mention that the channel exists 10 years on August 5th, a couple days before this video goes live. So to celebrate that, we're going to give away a one year Action VFX Pro Plan subscription worth $5,000. And also guys, we're going to run a physical box copy of Vegas Pro 20 giveaway as soon as that video goes live. That's a separate video guys, that's not in this video. Make sure to check out the link down in the description to enter the giveaway of the one year action vfx pro plan and to everyone that is new to action vfx and what it exactly is and how you can benefit from it luke has some information about that for you hey everyone luke thompson from action vfx here at action vfx we create the world's largest library of professional visual effects stock footage which means we'll film fire explosions smoke gunshots all that exciting stuff for real and then we'll clean it up and package it so you can use it in your own projects and you might also notice that all Magix users will receive a free starter subscription to the Action VFX library. That means you can go ahead, download some effects, and get started editing in the new version of Vegas today. We also have tons of resources like free effects and tutorials and other educational content to help you learn and grow more as a visual effects artist. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, check us out at actionvfx.com. All right, I'll pass it back over to Alex. Alright guys, so this is Vegas Pro 20. As you can see, not really that much difference when it comes to the UI. But let me tell you guys, this version is packed with brand new features that we've all been waiting for. So obviously, I'm not going to cover every single feature in detail. That's going to drag out this video way, way too long. This is just a general overview. And then in the next couple videos, we're going to cover every single feature in depth, in detail, how to use that. So right now, let's go ahead and start off with what is actually new right off the bat. That, as you see, we still have the same layout. We have our preview right here. We have the timeline, nothing really changed. We all have our tabs right here as well that you can see that we have all seen for years right now. The previews haven't really much changed when it comes to like your plugins or the actual previews. Cause obviously in like previous versions of Vegas Pro or even Sony Vegas back in the day, what we actually had was these icons when it comes to your color grading and all that. We basically had these eye icons and then they upgraded that. All right guys, so let's start off with feature number one, which is automatic project collections. A project collection organizes all of your project assets into a single view that you can easily access through the Hub Explorer window. These collections provide fast and easy access to all of your projects and their associated files. When you save your project, Vegas Pro automatically creates a project collection or updates your existing collection. You can simply use this feature to organize your ongoing projects, or you can create special projects that you use to organize your media files. For instance, you can create a new project called sports cars and then import all of your sports car footage into that project so you can easily access that media later on. So that's really, really cool guys that Vegas also takes a look at some features when it comes to organizing our files because obviously when we have our Vegas project in here, obviously the files that we have in our media browser, they're all probably from all different locations on our folder, on our computer. Some files are from our hard drive, some files are from the SD card, some files are from the downloads folder you name it they're all over the place and by importing all these same folders and these files into your vegas project it makes it so much easier to keep everything organized so let's move on to the next brand new feature which is basically collaborating with other people on the same project so if you go to the bottom left where it says the hub explorer right here on the top you see the file drop and the vegas project so this feature is super awesome because obviously if you have multiple people working on the same video it sucks that you constantly have to go and drag and drop these files into a new vegas project or you have to use a retransfer or another website to send these video files so that's super easy that you can right now just use people's email addresses for file sharing and all that and that's really really cool so let me read a little bit more about what vegas actually stated about that you can add as many collaborators to the file drop event as you want to if you want to receive an automatically generated email when files have been uploaded 
uploaded to your file drop, select the tell me when files have been uploaded checkbox. When you're done sending all of the invitations you want to send, close the Vegas Hub and the drop window. Once your collaborators have uploaded files through the file drop system, those files are automatically added to your file drop collection. To see this back on the Hub Explorer window in Vegas Pro, click your file drop collection. You may need to click the refresh collection view button. After the refresh, you will see all of the files that have been uploaded to the file drop. So that's super cool guys. You can just have multiple people working on the same project. They will have access once you put their email addresses in and then they can just upload files on there. And then you can go and see what they have uploaded and then you can download them and then just import them straight into your Vegas project. So now that you guys know what the new features are and the updated features as well, let's just browse a little bit through what we can actually see when it comes to the auto looks and the updated color grading presets inside Vegas Pro. As you can see right here, we obviously have the auto looks. We have way and way more presets than we have also seen in previous versions. And I actually highly recommend you guys to update all of your build versions of Vegas Pro because sometimes Vegas Pro will also just introduce new color grading presets, maybe like new fonts or something like that outside of the regular build fixes where they would improve like stability and all that. All right, guys, let's move on to the next feature. So obviously Vegas also has a slow motion feature that you can use to slow down your clips because obviously we all know the trick where if you have a clip in your timeline, you hold the left control and then you drag your uh, clip to the right and then that's going to slow it down. If you drag it to the left, it's going to speed it up. But sometimes it's never really looking accurate because it might come across as a little bit stuttery. So let me introduce you guys to the optical flow slow motion. So in order to create slow motion, Vegas Pro delays the original frames of the video th so that there is more time between the movement those frames record. To attempt to create continuous motion, Vegas Pro must create additional video frames to fill in the extra time in between your original frames. When you use the playback rate setting or the velocity curves to create slow motion, Vegas Pro creates exact copies of the existing frames to use as these extra frames. Since the original frames are repeated, the process can result in choppy slow motion sequences. The slow motion plugin, on the other hand, synthesizes new intermediate frames from the existing frames. To do this, it analyzes the difference between two frames to create entirely new frames that move smoothly from the first frame to the second. This makes the slow motion look much more fluid and natural in many cases. All right, guys, so I just dragged in a little clip. <laughs> So don't pay attention to what kind of clip it is. I just picked uh, something random out of my uh, my downloads. But basically, uh, we're gonna try that on this uh, on this fail video. So I'm gonna remove the audio because I don't really need that. So let's try out the slow motion, right? So if we always did the left control, then we dragged it to the uh, the very right. If you play it back, this is what it looks like. It's very choppy. It's not smooth. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the slow motion feature that the optical flow slow motion that uh, Vegas Pro introduces. So we're going to go to the video effects tab right here and then we're going to look for the optical flow slow motion. So right here we have slow motion. So let's drag that onto the clip and let's see how that works. So this is basically the box that we have right here. The quality, obviously you want to place that onto fine and then the blending is going to be blend and then the playback ratio is going to be on zero. So let's see what that does. So that's the original speed. So this is like a brand new thing for me as well, guys. So I'm trying to figure this out on the spot. So let's go and play this back and let's see how we can actually make this look a lot smoother than usual. So what I noticed right here, it says playback rate. That's basically the speed. So zero is obviously all the way up. That's the normal, as you can see right here. <laughs> So then if let's say that we're going to slow it down and obviously there is no way to speed this up because that's why this is called slow motion. So this is the farthest that you can go to the right. That's a normal speed. So let's go ahead and drag this down and let's see how it affects the slow motion. We would expect it's going to be really choppy because you can see that this video is not high quality or at least it got compressed in a way or multiple times where the there is pixels. So if we would actually use the slow motion feature like you guys have seen, it was super choppy. It should be fixed right now. Let's see what it looks like. All right, guys, as you can see, that looks really, really, really nice. So the thing is that obviously it also slows down the footage. It cuts off right here before she falls. But if you pay attention to how smooth it is, that's actually crazy since obviously when you drag the speed all the way up to the regular one <laughs> and then let's hold left control and then we're going to drag it to across. This is how choppy it looks. 
is moving frame by frame instead of steady. Exactly what they do, they extend a certain frame to make it look more smoother. So this is also guys, the ultimate fix for making slow motion clips if you didn't film in 50 or 60 FPS. Cause obviously you know that when you filmed in 23 or 29 or 30 FPS rather, if you slow it down using left control and you drag it, you always have these stuttering movements instead of just a smooth motion. So right now you can, you're totally free to film in 29 frames or 30 frames per second. And then you can still use this feature and it's gonna look really smooth because obviously this video is not shot in, in 60 or 50 FPS, nowhere near that amount. And it still looks really, really smooth if we do it. And that is another really, really nice feature from Vegas Pro 20. All right guys, so these are just a few basic features. Obviously we have, if you press all G, we have the, uh, the color panels as well that have updates, this and that. But obviously every single version gets more and more complex and advanced. It's kind of hard to cram everything into one single uh, walkthrough video. So what you guys can do is either just make sure you subscribe and then in a couple of days, we'll start to release these videos on uh, how like every single new, new feature, how it works. Or you can go to the website. The link is down in the, in the description. If you want to pick up Vegas Pro 20, you can also read what is exactly new in each version. So you don't have to go and click through this video or wonder like, wait, this video is like 10, 15 minutes long and you only show like three new features while there's actually a lot more for you guys to discover. So uh, guys, these are just the really, really small basics that are new in Vegas Pro 20. There are tons and tons more of new features. Make sure to read it all on the website. The link is down in the description. The whole page is published so you guys can finally go ahead and check it out. Also guys, make sure to stay tuned for the Vegas Pro 20 giveaway. I'm going to give away a physical box of Vegas Pro 20. I'm going to draw a random winner in about two, three weeks from when that video goes up and then you guys can go and enter and do the regular steps like we did in the past to enter a giveaway. So that's it guys and this is Vegas Pro 20. The link is down in the description. Thank you.